Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to my back to school video. This one is a bit gaming oriented and also giving you stuff that you can pick up that won't cost you a lot of money. Now, I've got some help from a few of my YouTube buddies. Uh, they're gonna help me out in picking a few things that actually fit, uh, of course, the whole back to school monkey. Now, if you're watching this for the first time, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, notification bell, so you can watch more videos from the channel. So let's start off with the very first arena that I think most people care about, smartphones. You're looking for something that is cost effective, that does a pretty good job. I've got three smartphones for you and the first one is the Samsung Galaxy A50. Retails for $250. This is the cheapest Galaxy device you can get that works really well. I was quite impressed with uh, with its functionality, but especially when you're gaming, it's got an Exynos processor and the 9610, and that handles PUBG really well on high settings. Uh, and you've got a 4,000 milliamp battery, a headphone jack, it's running one UI, uh, it's got a decent triple camera setup at the back, and you've got a nice looking display at 6.3 inches. It is a lovely device to pick up especially at the price point on like $250, $260. You can't go wrong with that at all. Now, my very next smartphone is the Galaxy A70. The A70 is a little bit uh, pricier. It's about 350 bucks, which is still really good. It's powered by the Snapdragon 675 processor, comes with a massive 5,000 milliamp battery. So this thing will last you the whole day. Uh, it's, it's great for that. It's also really solid in gaming, playing PUBG as well. On these high settings, you're gonna get some really good performance all the way through. Camera that gives you some nice uh, photos, not so much on low light, but that's not what you care about at this at this price point. Headphone jack, USB Type-C charging for both the Galaxy A50 and the A70. So you've got that there. And I think this is something a lot of people will definitely like. Now, our third device is the Pixel 3a. Now, the Pixel 3a is known to be one, especially in terms of uh, camera quality. It's really, really good and, right, and you know, it rivals high-end devices uh, because it's got that uh, Pixel camera software. It's a solid device running stock Android, uh, and I think it's really nice. It runs the Snapdragon 670. It does have four gigs of RAM, so it's not really a gaming powerhouse. You can do some gaming on the Pixel, uh, uh, Pixel 3a, and I think it will handle it well enough. But you're looking for a camera, this is the smartphone you're definitely gonna pick. If you're gonna look for more gaming performance, the A70 and the A50 do a much better job, especially at this price point under 400 bucks with the Pixel 3a coming around like 380 or $90 or so. So that's where I see them. Now, in terms of just a carrier to use, I usually go with T-Mobile uh, just because I've been a T-Mobile customer for years. Uh, and if you're looking for something that will work with those devices, these three devices will work on the T-Mobile network. And it's something to take a look at. Uh, the pricing is great. Family plans, if you're looking for one, it's also pretty good. This is not a plug for T-Mobile. It's just what I would select. If you're looking for a plan for your kids or, or yourself back to school, that is probably what will work best for you. So there are a few more things to check out. And at this point, I'm going to pass it over to Matthew Monis to let you know about laptops you can pick up for back to school. So he asked me to give some of my favorite picks for back to school gaming. The budget pick definitely goes to the Acer Nitro 5. This is the laptop you buy if you're on a budget under 700 bucks, i5 9300H with a GTX 1650, more than enough power to play most games comfortably between medium and high settings. It's not the most attractive laptop, but it will game comfortably. The panel could be a little bit more color accurate, and if you want something a little bit better, you can look at the Acer Nitro 7 instead. Now, if you have a little bit more money to spend, my suggestion is the sweet spot. My suggestion is to go with the Acer Predator Helios 300. Sometimes you can find this laptop for under $1,000 and you're getting a 9750H processor with a GTX 1660 Ti. This is more than capable of playing any game that's currently on the market. And the best part is you get a high refresh panel at 144 hertz. It's color accurate, you have Thunderbolt 3 and all the ports you need to hook up all your favorite peripherals. Now. If you have some more spunny, spunny money and you wanna buy something a little bit better, my suggestion is to look at the Razer Blade 15 or 
the Gigabyte OLED. Go for the Blade 15 if you're strictly just gaming and you want good looks. Like this is more than adequate to game comfortably on high settings. You can get this in 4K, you can get this with 240 hertz. My suggestion is just to get the one with 144. But if you're a content creator first, I recommend gravitating towards the Gigabyte instead. The Aero 15 just has a very good balance between performance and heat management. On top of that, you also get an SD card slot, which is something you don't get on the Blade 15. Plus, it just has a lot more I.O. to choose from than the Razer variant. So, Blade 15 for specifically just gaming, Aero 15 if you're doing creative work first, gaming second. Anyways, that wraps up my back to school gaming picks. Thank you, E, for having me on. All right, guys, so my name is Gameski, and first off, I want to thank Thunder E for asking me to do this. He asked if for his back to school video, I would come on and share two pair of truly wireless earbuds that I would recommend for back to school. So the two I'm going to recommend are going to be under $100, and the first one is the One More Stylish True Wireless. It's honestly one of my personal favorites. Um, it comes in at $99, and some of the features that it has, like Bluetooth 5.0, and it plays high res audio like AptX and AAC. The battery, you're gonna get about six hours, and then with the case, you're gonna get around 24 total. The case is really small, so it's easy to throw in a backpack or even throw in your pocket. Um, it also has quick charge, so if you pick them up and they're dead, charge them for 15 minutes, you're gonna get about three hours of use. And the way that they're tuned is very dynamic. Like the bass you're gonna feel, but the treble is also extremely clean. And it's just an overall amazing pair of truly wireless earbuds that under $100 is really hard to beat. And so the next pair I'm going to recommend, actually, I just reviewed, and it's the Tranya T3. Um, they come in at $50, and these are more geared towards people that love bass. And I like bass, but I don't like bass to affect everything else. And this is one of the most booming bass, truly wireless earbuds that I've tried, but also while keeping the highs and the mids very dynamic as well. So nothing gets lost, and it's just a very fun sounding, truly wireless earbud to use. It also has Bluetooth 5.0. It is IPX5 water resistant. Um, it has six to eight hours of battery life, but if you're like me and like to listen to things turned up, you're gonna get about six hours. Um, the case though is gonna give you around 60 hours total. And again, I'm not sure how they were able to do this for $50. I mean, especially when companies are charging $160 to $200 for earbuds like this. But anyway, thank you so much to Thunder E for having me and enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Gameski. Uh, definitely a huge help in picking the right laptops and of course wireless earbuds because that's the biggest thing now in the market to pick uh, for the back to school period. But now you're also looking for chargers to charge your devices. And we know uh, a lot of the chargers that come in, in the boxes are not up to snuff. I've got a array of chargers here from Anchor that are really, really cool. They are 30 watts, uh, 60 watt PD chargers. They've even got one that's really small and flat. Uh, it's, I love it, this design, it's slick, it's very portable. All of them are really portable and they can charge your smartphones or your laptops uh, or your, your iPad if you have one, those kind of things. It covers the whole range uh, in charging and I think they are really well priced. Uh, with a maximum price, I believe, of about you know forty-five dollars or fifty bucks or so for the sixty watt. So that makes a lot of sense in terms of charging. Now, if you're looking for a portable speaker, the one that I would totally suggest you pick up is the UE Boom Wonder Boom Two. Wonder Boom 2 is a great portable speaker. You can pair it up with two Wonder Boom speakers if you want to give you some really loud sound, small package and design I think a lot of people will like. You can put it in your backpack. You can, of course, hang it on your bike, wherever you take it with you. And it's easy to go. You don't need an app. You can just pair with your smartphone when you're good to go. It is loud. It is really, really loud. Take a quick listen. <laughs> And speaking of gaming laptops, you definitely need a gaming mouse and nothing better than the Razer Viper, which is an eSports geared mouse, super light, uh, really comfortable, easy to use. It's ambidextrous, so if you're left or right-handed, you can use this mouse. It's got eight programmable buttons. Uh, it's got a drag-free cord. Uh, this also has a high DPI of up to 16,000, or 16K DPI actually, an optical sensor. Really nice, I love the movement, and it's 
It's only 79 bucks. You can't go wrong with it, especially any of the laptops you pick up right there. I think it's something you definitely want to actually uh, pick up for back to school. Then of course, there is the need for a portable power bank. And nothing better than picking up something like this from Mophie. This is the supreme drop of the Mophie PowerStation XL. Now, if you're able to pick it up, sure, this is great. It's really cool because it's got a couple of functionalities built into it. You've got um, a Qi wireless charging right here on the top. You can also charge via USB Type-C and of course uh, via USB-A. Uh, this is really nice, got an indicator on the side as well. Uh, if you can't find it, then you can also get the regular PowerStation XL. They've got a lot of uh, uh, options available. One thing I like about Mophie is it's, it's been really reliable. They last quite a while, and it's not something that dies off after six months. So definitely worth picking up if you can get it on the market. Now finally, something that everybody needs for back to school is a backpack. And nothing better than the Solo New York Nomad Navigate backpack. I love this because it's a very compact backpack. It looks small, but you can take up to a 17 inch uh, laptop. You can put in any of those laptops you've seen in this video. You can throw in your speakers, you can throw in your tablet. It's got enough space to throw in a lot of things and even some clothes too. You've got side satchels to put in your water bottle and there's enough space to carry all the things you need. That's why I like it. Only resells for about 79 bucks. Solid uh, backpack to fit all your needs for going, for going back to school. So I want to say thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. And I also thank all my YouTube friends. Again, Matthew Moners, Gameski, and Flossie Carter. Definitely check out their channels. Subscribe to them if you haven't already. Uh, they've got some really great stuff. And if you want to pick up any of the things you've seen in this video, use our links down below. We've got, a, we've got them all seated out for you so you can get your back to school purchases and get them on time. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. We'll go back to more videos on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and other new smartphones for you to check out. But I wanted to drop something that you would be useful for you this uh, back to school period. So it's Thunder E saying thank you very much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.